What up, Alpha Team? It's the J Alpha Tyler back again with another reaction. And y'all know that Fridays are when we hit up favorites, but we also hit up new things when they drop. And I'm super excited about something new that dropped today. And I ain't even saying the Jelly ain't in my favorites list, so we just got the double whammy. But if y'all missed it, Jelly dropped a new track today called My Last Joint. I don't know if he's talking about the drug. I don't know if he's talking about his last track, album, whatever he's doing. But I know it's Jelly Roll, so this is going to be something deep. And I'm excited to see what he's bringing with it. We're going to go ahead and jump into it in just a second. But before we do, y'all know I got one thing I got to ask. If y'all enjoy the content on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Join the Alpha Team. Ding that notification bell so that you can get on the notification squad and always know when I got some new content dropping. That's really all I got to say. We're going to go ahead and jump on in. Remember, at the end of the reaction, if you enjoy it, give this video a like. On to the show. We're about to hit up My Last Joint by Jelly Roll. Let's get it. Smoking weed, saying prayers. Liquor stores are everywhere. Hey. Wonder if they ever care. I live in the fast lane, committed so I cut off the brake line. Hey, with the gossip, fuck what you done heard through the grapevine. Dreamer, so I had the vision, I had to get it. Nights with the baddest women, couple of bad decisions, building in the city nights, turn to early mornings. Mama praying for us, we ignore the early warnings. On the run from a war, the preacher called me up to pray, asked me if I think I'll ever change. I told him not today. Mmm, man, he's talking about the thing. He started off, he started off on that. Hey, you know what? We're talking about praying, but we also talking about drinking. We're talking about drugging. He's talking about some mistakes he's made, some of these things and stuff. And a lot of people forget. A lot of people let that thing, let, let things like that get in the way of their faith. Man, at the end of the day, never forget God is concerned with your heart. God lays those convictions, man. You are saved as a Christian by faith and grace. You are not saved by any actions of your own, and we cannot be perfect people. If we got to clean something up, God's going to lay that on us, and I truly believe that. Warren, the preacher called me up to pray, asked me if I think I'll ever change. I told him not today. I've been living like this for too long. I don't know if I'll ever move on. Same old beat, but it's a new song. Paranoid, so I sleep with my shoes on. Talking about same old beat, but it's a new song. I like that in there because he's talking about, I don't know if I'm ever going to change. I don't know if I'm going to come back to this. Man, I've been where I'm at for too long. And that goes back to what I say, man. You ain't going to change it on your own. Nobody going to nobody gonna clean up any of that stuff on their own. You know what I mean? I just want my last joint. Tell me what's the point because I'm still fucked up. I've been living in a codeine dream, but this lean can't fill me here. No matter what it's all. Tell me what's the point, cause I'm still fucked up No matter what, it's all the same Feel the paper with reefer, then hit the liquor store That bottle and Mary Jane's the only friends I know I had people I loved, I end up burying How they go from popping pills to shooting heroin Think about my partner, I'm standing at his grave I'm trying to tell his mama it's gonna be okay What do you say when somebody's so hard, bro? The rent's past due when they're late on the car No, I've been through it Man, he talking about some deep things, and this is what I like about Jelly. It's like he opens up that part of his mind, you know. He's talking about friends dying from overdosing, you know, getting on, getting on the hard, hard stuff, and, and you know, he kind of talking about not really understanding how people get to that point, trying to explain it to somebody. Some people, like that bottle and that joint, is all that they're ever gonna want. You know what I mean? And for those people, I mean. You know, I'm not I'm not going to get into the debate on how bad either of those things really is. But I mean, some people though, legit, that is the gateway and that's what leads to something worse. So I, I don't know, man. Like everybody's got to make their own decisions and that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. If you handling things, you're taking care of business, you ain't letting that be the only driving factor in your life. I mean, how much how much do you have to lose? Um, but at the same time, like you can't tell who is going to be that person? I never want to contribute to somebody else picking up a bad habit from me. You know what I mean? So hard, bro. The rent's past due when they're late on the car. No, nope, I've been through it. I keep looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. It's my life and I'm the type that keeps fighting the struggle. Since the young and always found my way right to the trouble. I think the storm's coming. I feel lightning and thunder. I just want 
smoke my last joint, tell me what's the point, cause I'm still fucked up. Yeah. I've been living in a code and dream, but this lean can't feel me here. No matter what, it's all the same. It's not enough to kill my pain. I just smoke my last joint, tell me what's the point, cause I'm still fucked up. Living in a cold and dream, but this name can't fill me up. No matter what, it's all the same. It's not enough to kill my pain. So that was my last joint by Jelly Roll. If I'm being real, like when I'm listening to that, kind of part of that to me is saying, you know what? These drugs, this drinking, like these things ain't enough to uh, really get me what I need. I need something more. And he, talking to, he ain't talking about like needing the harder drugs or anything. I think he's using examples and there are people who do take those and go down a, to a really dark place. But I think where, he, where he's going out with that is just kind of that call for faith, man. That call for help, like something real that's really going to occupy this space drown out the the mistakes drown out all that negative stuff you know and really take over that place to kill that pain to eat that pain away and and occupy our mind more productively that's kind of what i'm looking at uh, I, I understand you know jelly ain't always ain't always coming out you know looking for that escape people enjoy their things man and i'm not gonna knock anybody for having their vices Everybody's got to deal with that thing on their own. But what I am saying, I mean, I think I think he touched on it enough. I, I do think it was a point in this song, you know, to point out God's going to fill that hole up. God's the only thing that's going to take that pain away. At the end of the day, that's my interpretation. That's where I'm at. And I do feel like that's kind of how Jelly, how, how Jelly leans in this one. Y'all let me know what you guys think about it, though. It's a powerful message. I love the contrast that he's using in here. He's got the rock guitars going. You know, he's kind of he's kind of rapping a little bit softer, kind of going through. I mean, I mean, he got a sick flow in that. And that's where it's kind of tough to kind of take apart because he's kind of got that acid flow in there, you know, kind of hitting faster, you know, riffing off the guitars and everything. Then he got the slow kind of kind of, you know, wavy hook. I really like this one. I think I think it's a complex song. I think there's a lot of deeper meaning even than what I'm pulling from it. Y'all let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know also, you know, what do y'all want to see next? Where do we need to go? Don't forget we've been doing these live streams for the past few days. I don't know about today. I got a wedding book tomorrow. So that may impact our live in the morning. Maybe a little bit shorter because of it, but afterward, I think I'm going to be hitting up Ethic the God. And so, if you guys are big on the Asylum Music Group, or if you guys don't know Ethic the God, make sure that y'all show up, get some questions asked, and everything. That'll probably be tomorrow evening. That is the evening of Halloween, 10:31. We're gonna be chilling with Ethic the God. I got a wedding book tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. And then afterward. We're chilling with Ethic of God. We're hanging out. We're doing that Alpha Team live thing. We'll probably check out some horror videos because we've been hitting them up on some lives. We've been having a good time. If y'all been missing that, y'all definitely want to get in on it. That's all I got, though. I'm DJ Alpha Tyler. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me for a minute. Hope you're staying safe, taking care of yourselves. Like, share, and subscribe. Get down in the description for some ways that we can connect, and I'll catch you guys next time.